think hard to help you out, whether it be with an autoimmune disease or uh, All right, heart folks, disease. folks, this part I would call stranded. Or cancer. They're not making it's 357 in the morning what they're doing, or you're as I'm sitting across from the Lutheran Church, responding the way you should um, Lutheran, Lutheran Church here on Ball Road, B-A-L-L, Black Basketball, but Ball. Ball Road and near the intersection of Valley View Road here in Cypress, California, I'm stranded because the people of the Muslim community, the leadership here, Cypress has heard that there are some Muslims or someone who's trying to pull me into something with the authorities, that something is cooking up and it's involving money and something else, and he said it's terrible. He said that um, they've been having a discussion between other members of the Muslim community, and he said it's terrible. They may be trying to contact even the federal authorities to do a setup to arrange uh, entrapment. So he said the fact that I'm staying put may be in my favor. Other people say that um, in New York said that maybe if I could try to leave, but I can't leave. And what's deliberately being done is, one, I don't have a license as an officer, an Irish ancestry officer, and Officer Tran, I think was his name. But the Irish Ancestry su Superior Officer told me that I'm not to be caught, I'm not to be seen driving. Um, he told me very clearly that I'm not to be seen um, driving on the road, that he, he does not want to see me driving on the road at all, because they would tell other officers, particularly he took a description, um, being that I'm a watchless hit, he had to do further things. One. Procedures for watchlist hits. Um, can I search your car? Even though the infraction was, they said that night. Um, they said that um, Starbucks called and complained that I was parked behind the. Um, what do you call it? That I was parked behind the um, Starbucks too long. Yeah, that's what they said. And then I heard there was a guy who was staunchly Christian. We used to ride around here on a bicycle. Very intelligent man. I didn't man know that man was so intelligent. Um, they said that he was in jail. I don't know if it was him or somebody else. I hope it's not him. Because he's staunchly, devoutly Christian. I didn't know that. So anyhow, long story short, I'm um, stranded here. Here in Cypress, California, because of something is going on, which may be... This is a Dr. Bob show, by the way. Dr. Bob Martin. Dot com. Well, here, the staff and I want to wish each and every one of our listeners a healthy, happy Thanksgiving. And until we speak again, please make it a healthy day. And this a is KABC. You've been listening to the Dr. Bob Martin show. But it would be nice also for other viewers if he had mentioned Hanukkah as well. You know, because both communities are very, very vital and important to our democracy and semblance, and I use the word very carefully, semblance of freedom, which I have very little of. So I found out that um, because I was stupid enough not to read the DMV report properly that when I didn't show up for my court date in Redwood City for a stop sign infraction, that my license was automatically, immediately suspended. I don't know if that's normally the case. Usually, there's a fine um, levied before further action is taken. Usually, there's a fine um, before further action um, is taken. Usually, the, um, there's a fiscal penalty first. It seems like, they, like I said, me being a watchless hit, one of the things that I've noticed, they wouldn't want me being able to move around. They don't want me traveling, having easy access to move around, having my own vehicle, um, my own vehicle that it would that would be easier. My own vehicle where it would be easier not to slip a bug or like they did to someone in Santa Clara, the grandson of a Horn Muslim leader. Um, they put a tracking device warrantless underneath his car. They, they, they don't want you to you have your own vehicle where you have constant access to it, especially a vehicle you would be staying in because it would always be under your purview. You would keep it within your eyesight. You don't want that. You, want you know, so they like you on public transport. Uh, they like you living in men's shelters. You know, like there was one situation where there was a man in San Diego and Oh, they're having the funeral for the people who died in the police helicopter in Scotland. Officials say it'll take days to remove the wreckage and confirm.
for him anymore. It was an EC-135 P1 or T1. Furious film franchise was killed Saturday in a car crash north of Los Angeles. Mark Webb, who worked on the Fast and Furious movie, says he was with Walker on a movie shoot just a few weeks ago and says Walker was one of the good guys. As far as people go, they just they didn't come any finer. They didn't come any more gracious. And he was just he always treated everybody with respect. Walker was 40. A freight train has derailed in New Mexico. It killed the three operators. It happened about 75 oh, miles northwest of Las Cruces. Went off the tracks and down a 40 to 50 you know foot the, ravine. The engineer. You're listening. Which is very, very good money, very elite, very hard, taking for Afro-Americans to get involved in that. Frank Train, Railroad Engineer, all that. But those are men who had good lives, gainfully employed, respected in security apparatus. So what you have to do is choose locations that pay similarly but mitigate the risk. This is what I was trying to do. Mitigate the risk. EC-135 P1 T1 helicopter, I've already analyzed it, as I would elaborate further, that that machine is prone to some problems. Another one machine which is prone to problems is the, of the Eurocopter series, is the AS-350, which law enforcement uses around here profusely, particularly in regards to me. They use it around here profusely, which you, attorneys, once investigating, you will see a major case centering around me, going up to the highest political level. The AS-350, also known as the Squirrel, the, e the, the Eurocopter, but formerly known as Aerospace, very dangerous machine. Single the controversial case of a one-month sentence for a convicted teacher rapist is not over. If state prosecutors have their way, See? more from ABC's Chuck Siebert. The Montana Attorney General's Office is asking the state Supreme Court to throw uh, out a 30-day sentence given to the a Cypress teacher. police officer to told me if I'm caught driving, I would be hit with a $1,500 fine. fine. This car, which is not mine, which I'm sleeping, would be put in a pound, car pound, for at least 30 days, of which each day I would have to pay for, which would, which would ratchet up. Which would multiply exponentially, and I may be put in there. Judge later apologized. Probably long, probably just as long or longer than this. But are seeking ten. No comment. You know, then the what this man was for actually raping someone. So there was a disproportionate, harder hitting, leveling of powers and penalties against people of Afro ethnicity as the Innocent Project um, shows. Particularly if you look at the website and the photos of the Innocent Project as well as the local iterations of the Innocent Project, like the California one and the other one, you see always mostly darker faces. Mostly men that are darker complexion Afro Americans. Not men like President Obama who are mulatto or Creole, but the darker complexion slave descendants. <laughs> of Afro-American men um, um, Bantu features sometimes who could then to be targeted by structures but even the mulatto gets it from time to time the Creole gets it from time to time so only then they begin to understand what we go through on a regular basis trepidation so I'm stranded here like I said leadership in the Cyprus Muslim community has said that there's something going around and somebody, some people are trying to set me up within the Muslim community meaning or well, link me to something meaning that there may be uh, munafis, the term in Arabic called munafis, meaning people that are malfeasant. Uh, it's like traitor, but it's a hypocrite, but it's not like where I was caught having sexual photos between myself and my former fiance or um, things like that. No, no, what a munafic is, is someone who plans to do harm to fellow Muslims, discreetly pretends, shows one face, but then stabs them in the back in another way, or backbites them all that has this despite uh, them and all that kind of, that is a monopoly. And I pray, to, I pray to God I don't fall in that category. So the help that I need is of a legal nature.